ഫുൾ എ പ്ലസിലേക്കുള്ള വഴി ഇനി തനിയെ തുറക്കാം സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദ്ലാസ് ചാനൽ റിംഗ് ദ ബെൽ ബട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സക്സസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസി ഹായ് ഓൾ ദ സയൻസസ് അഡ്വാൻസ് ബൈ ലോട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ നോ പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ക്യാമറ ക്യാൻ ക്യാപ്ചർ വാട്ട് വി സീ വിത്ത് അവർ അവർ ഓൺ ഐസ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് അവർ ഐസ് ആർ എ ലോട്ട് മോർ പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ദാൻ സച്ച് ക്യാമറാസ് അവർ ഐസ് വർക്ക് ഇൻ എ വേ ദാറ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി സർപ്പാസസ് മാൻ മെയ്ഡ് ക്യാമറാസ് നൗ let's see the working of an eye in detail first we can go through some ray diagrams in the first diagram o is the object position and i is the image position we know that to form a clear image it is essential to converge the light rays in the retina but here it is clear that the image is formed in front of the retina so no clear image is formed here in the second diagram O is the object position and I is the image position. Here, the image is formed beyond the retina. Here also, no clear image is formed. In the third diagram, O is the object position and I is the image position. Here, the image is formed on the retina itself. So, a clear image can be obtained. In the first two cases, why is the image formed in front of and behind the retina? The reasons can be, the change in the power of the lens of the eye and the change of the size of the eyeball if a similar image formation is happening in anyone's eyes their vision will be distorted now let's see some of the eye defects and their reasons and remedies some people cannot see nearby objects clearly but they can see distant objects this type of eye defect is called the hypermetropia or long sightedness Let's see what is the reason behind this. This figure shows the image formation in the eyes of a person having hypermetropia. Here, only the images of distant objects are forming on the retina. The images of nearby objects are forming behind the retina. So, as the name suggests, people with long sightedness can see distant objects clearly, but not the nearby objects. The near point of the eye of such a person will be at a distance of more than 25 cm. What shall be the reason behind this defect? The shrinking of the eyeball and the decrease in the power of the eye lens can cause this. Long sightedness can be rectified by using a convex lens of suitable power. Using a convex lens, the image can be accurately obtained on the retina itself. Another eye defect is nearsightedness or myopia. The people having myopia may not be able to see the distant objects clearly, but they can clearly see the nearby objects. If we analyze the ray diagram, we can see that the images of nearby objects are forming on the retina, but the images of distant objects are forming in front of the retina. That's the reason why distant objects cannot be seen clearly. The far point of such a person will not be at infinity. Instead, it will be at a definite distance from the eye. What shall be the reason behind this defect? They are the long and enlarged eyeball and the increase in the power of eyelids. Myopia can be rectified using a concave lens of suitable power. Presbyopia is another eye defect which is commonly seen in elderly people. For them, the near point is at a distance greater than 25 cm. This is happening due to the diminishing ability of ciliary muscles. For such people, the power of accommodation will be less. Have you ever noticed that elderly people keep the newspaper a little away from their eyes when they read it? The reason behind this is presbyopia. It can be corrected by using a convex lens of suitable power. Usually after an eye test the doctors may prescribe spectacles of a particular power which means the person need to be used the lens having that much power but what does this term power of the lens mean power is a term related to the focal length of a lens power of a lens is the reciprocal of the focal length expressed in meters power p is equal to 1 divided by f The unit of power is diopter which is denoted by the letter capital D. Since power is just the reciprocal of focal length, the power of a convex lens is always positive 
and the power of a concave lens is always negative. So, if a doctor prescribes the spectacles having a power of positive 1.5 diopter, what can we understand about the nature of the lens? Since the sign is positive, we can say that the lens will be a convex lens. Power is given us positive 1.5 diopters. So, the focal length will be the reciprocal of 1.5 that is 1 divided by 1.5 which is equal to 0 0.667 meters or 66.7 centimeters. If the power was negative 2 diopters, the lens will be a concave lens and the focal length will be 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 meters or 50 centimeters. That is a concave lens having a focal length of 50 centimeters. Till now, we have discussed different kinds of eye defects. But there are people out there who have not been able to see this world since birth. Here comes the importance of eye donation. Eye donation is one of the noblest donations. We can bring at least a few people with impaired eyesight back to the world of vision. The cornea is the transparent outer layer of the eye. If the cornea is damaged or loses its transparency, light cannot pass through it. This type of vision loss can be treated by transplanting or replacing the cornea. So, in eye donations, the part which is transplanted is the cornea. Other disorders of eye cannot be treated by transplantation. Anyone of any age can donate eyes. Relatives should immediately inform the eye bank authorities in case of the death of a person who was ready for eye donation. After death, the eyes should be covered with damp cotton. After a person dies, the organ becomes unusable within hours. Therefore, even before that, such organs need to be scientifically removed from a person's body. The cornea should be removed within 6 hours after death. Methods that take the entire eyeball or only the cornea are practical. People with BP, diabetes, asthma, TB and those who wear glasses are eligible for eye donation. People with tetanus, plague, AIDS, jaundice, cancer and malaria are not eligible for eye donation. Every year from August 25th to September 8th, a variety of activities are held nationally for two weeks to raise awareness about the importance of eye donation. These programs are organized to create awareness about eye donation as people are reluctant to eye donation due to lack of awareness. Maybe if our eyes continues to see this world through someone else, there is nothing greater than that. So, in this session, we have learned different types of eye defects, causes, symptoms and solution for them and the value of eye donation. Download the learning app.